Welcome back to our SFU Fairtrade web series. Today, I'm going to be going over Fairtrade logos and help you understand what they mean and how they're different from each other. There are over a hundred eco labels in Canada on all sorts of products, and this can be a lot for consumers to take in. In fact, the oversaturation of eco labels is one of the biggest barriers to help consumers make better purchasing decisions. As activists for the fair trade movement, it's our role to help provide clarity to the public about what these labels mean in the context of fair trade. Let's start with some definitions. You've probably seen the term fair trade written in several ways. Fair space trade, fair trade is one word, and most likely also fair dash trade or fairly traded. The term fair trade is a general term referring to the system that offers better trading conditions to marginalized producers and workers, especially in developing countries. For what fair trade means to you, you can visit our Fair Trade 101 video. Fair trade is the word that we use to describe the movement itself. You'll notice this word in SFU Fair Trade, the Canadian Fair Trade Network, and the Fair Trade Campus Program. Fair trade is one word is used to denote the product certification system operated by Fair Trade International. It's trademarked, meaning that only products or entities that operate under this system can use Fair Trade as one word. You'll notice this in the name Fair Trade Canada, the body that licenses retailers in Canada to carry the Fair Trade International logo. You'll also notice it on marketing materials from Fair Trade Canada and companies certified under the system. Words like fair dash trade or fairly traded are often used by retailers who don't really understand what fair trade is or what it means and most likely don't practice it. If you see these words on products or from a retailer, it means they're not certified by anyone at all. Now, within the fair trade system, there are two types of verification. Product verification, which certifies specific products that have been produced, traded, processed and packaged in accordance to a prescribed set of standards. Most fair trade labels are used to define products. Or there's also membership-based verification, which evaluates companies and organizations based on their overall commitment to a set of fair trade principles. The Fair Trade Federation and World Fair Trade Organization are two organizations that we'll talk about that engage in member-based verification. Within the fair trade system, acceptable logos must meet a high standard that guarantees an ongoing commitment to the movement. Good fair trade labels must have standards that are set and audited by third parties, have a governance model that ensures meaningful producer involvement, and have systems which take into account power dynamics, power dynamics which are often forgotten by corporate social responsibility programs. Good fair trade labels must also have a minimum price for agricultural products transparency in the governance and decision-making of the system, as well in transparency about how the label was created and how standards are set and audited. For the system to function, the fair trade label must have an overall sustainability of its own governance in terms of ensuring long-term development in the global north. This usually happens through marketing, say in Canada. A good fair trade label must also have a focus on capacity building, education and training for producer cooperatives in the global south. This is because fair trade isn't just about the prices. And finally, a good fair trade label needs to have a focus on producers in the global south, because this is at the core of what the fair trade movement is. So I'm going to review several logos, some widely accepted as fair trade, and some not so acceptable, and some which aren't even fair trade at all. The following logos are accepted towards designations as part of fair trade programs in Canada. Fair Trade International. Fairtrade International is the most recognized and leading fair trade label in the world. It's a global organization which is 50% owned, managed, and run by producers. Its standards are created and audits are completed completely by a third party. Fairtrade International is generally accepted as the highest standard among labels. It also has transparency and certification of multiple steps in the supply chain. Fairtrade International is a full member of the ICL Alliance and also funds and supports all fair trade programs in Canada and many fair trade organizations. The small producer symbol. The small producer symbol was created by producers for producers and focuses on small scale producers and co-ops and fully committed fair trade companies. It's governed by a producer network 
and follows standard fair trade principles for product certification. Under this certification, environmental and labor standards are less formalized than other labels. But remember, this label was created by the producer co-ops themselves. The next two logos are accepted under fair trade programs for handicrafts only. This is because the Fair Trade International and Small Producers Symbol programs don't yet have sufficient standards for handmade products. The Fair Trade Federation. The Fair Trade Federation is a member-based verification system for fair trade companies' overall commitment to fair trade. It's based in the U.S. and focuses on adherence to nine principles of fair trade. It focuses on long-term producer-buyer relationships, certifies handicrafts, and also has an emphasis on mentorship, promotions, and a support network for the fair trade movement. The World Fair Trade Organization. The WFTO is also a member organization for fair trade companies. It's a global network for artisans, traders, wholesalers, and retailers who operate their businesses based on adherence to the WFTO's 10 principles of fair trade. Its logo certifies that a company has sourced adequately through fair trade. They also certify handicrafts. And the WFTO recognizes symbols like Fair for Life, the Small Producer Symbol, Fair Trade International, Natural and Fair, and other members. The following logos are not accepted for fair trade designations in Canada. Here's why. Fair for Life. Fair for Life products carry a logo if at least 50% of the ingredients are fair trade. It has transparency and certification of multiple steps in the supply chain, and it also certifies entire companies. However, the global standard is not just focused on producers in the global south, but also on producers in developed countries, which is not really a part of the main fair trade movement. It's also a for-profit certifier. There's no minimum price, which means that producers have to negotiate their own prices, even when the markets are down. Fair for Life also doesn't give any extra support for producers or fair trade programs in Canada or to producer groups in the global south. So that they don't have to pay into the system, they also accept companies that already have certifications from other fair trade certifiers. Fair Trade USA. In the fair trade world, Fair Trade USA is not considered a trusted label. Ever since their split with the international system in 2011, standards have been weakened, such as reducing the banana premium by half, and there is very little meaningful producer involvement in governance. Fair Trade USA also doesn't guarantee auditing. It does the same thing as Fair for Life does. It'll take a certification given by another organization without actually auditing the company itself. It doesn't even have its own independent auditing body. It relies completely on other labels to verify its products, such as Fairtrade International. For Fairtrade USA, there's been evidence of the past of mislabeling products that are no longer certified as Fairtrade. And the labels that they do give on products typically only apply to parts of the supply chain, not multiple steps of the process. It has very low standards in terms of what can carry a Fairtrade logo. Even if a product only has 5% of its ingredients certified as fair trade, it can still carry a Fair Trade USA logo. The Fair Trade USA label has also been denied a trademark in Canada. Now the following logos are not representative of fair trade at all. Rainforest Alliance and UTZ. Rainforest Alliance and UTZ are now merged. Now in the past, UTZ had limited standards for environmental protection, while the Rainforest Alliance had limited standards on social protections. Neither were particularly strong in auditing. Their minimum thresholds for use of the mark are very low, just like Fair Trade USA. Direct Trade. The number one issue with Direct Trade is that Direct Trade is not a certification system. In fact, many of those who claim to be Direct Trade still buy through brokers and are not actually Direct Trade at all. This occurs because the realities of sourcing products from around the world are really complex and difficult to understand and also really labor intensive. The issue of who actually gets paid remains a big challenge because of this. And just because a higher price is paid to a producer doesn't mean that the higher price is actually paid to the farmer. Direct trade claims are also problematic because there's no way for a consumer to know who is actually doing it and who isn't. This has become increasingly problematic as more and more companies, especially coffee companies, are claiming to engage in direct trade, where this is mostly just greenwashing or fair washing. So that was a lot of information, but let's wrap it all up in a summary. 
We talked about that fair trade is one word refers specifically to products certified under the fair trade international system, whereas fair space trade refers to the movement as a whole. But if you want to be sure that you're supporting the real fair trade movement, you want to look out for the fair trade international symbol, the small producer symbol, the World Fair Trade Organization and Fair Trade Federation symbols on products and retailer websites. And also remember that Direct Trade and the Rainforest Alliance and UTZ are not a part of the fair trade movement. In Canada, these are the only logos recognized under any fair trade program. If you want more information on fair trade logo usage, you can visit the Canadian Fair Trade Network's website. And as for this video, that's all we've got for you. Hope you enjoyed.